So what is the 2020 group? Well, so we were formed in response to Scotland's Climate Change Act, which is still a global landmark piece of legislation. And that challenge of a 42% reduction in carbon emissions by 2020 is still about, if not the most, one of the most ambitious in the world. And the challenge that was put to Scottish society was, what are people going to do to help? And the 2020 group came from that. We were launched in 2009. We now have over 100 organisations. I think the slides is 127 organisations in, in, in meeting that challenge. And it's actually a wider challenge than just climate change. It's the challenge of sustainable development. And we're an unusual organisation. There's no membership criteria, except that you're up for that challenge and recognise that things need to change. During the course of last year, we set ourselves 12 objectives for 2012. Very creative, as you can imagine. And the impact report that you see on your, um, on your chairs just describes some of what we achieved last year under those banners and some others. Um, and as you can see, we're very creative. So this year, we're working on what our 13 for 2013 should be. Um, and we'll be launching those initiatives in the very near future. One of the... One of the things that the um, 2020 group does is just bring people together, and that is one of the, I the objectives tonight, bringing people and ideas together, introducing people to ideas and things that they can do. So in the, that spirit tonight, we have a couple of electric bikes on display over here um, from Electric Bikes Scotland. And if you put your business card in their box, which was in the foyer, but will be there later. Um, we will draw one of those business cards out at the end of the evening, and you get a free, free electric bike for a month to trial. Uh, I have trialled them, not um, for a month, but for a few hours, and they are very good, particularly if you're built like me and don't like pedalling. Um, now, so that's the 2020 group, but why, why a lecture? Well, Scotland is very fortunate. It attracts a lot of interesting and, and, and um, educated and skilled people. Um, and we felt there was a need to give people a platform in a neutral space, and not a commercial organisation, um, to give people the chance to speak and challenge Scotland. And this is the first of those, and we intend to do a number. So it, on an irregular basis, when there are interesting people with challenges for Scotland, because I think what we're trying to do with these lecture series is three things. Raise our awareness of issues beyond our borders, ideas beyond our borders, or in areas where we are not fully informed. To challenge our aspirations, the ideas that we have, have we thought of things, and also events like tonight are to build our alliances, to build those networks. Certainly, I'm already aware of two or three things, conversations that might lead to things from tonight. So before I uh, introduce our speaker, just a, a few thanks. Thank you to our panel members, because after the, the main lecture, there'll be a panel discussion. So thank you to our panel members and to John Swinney, the, the Cabinet Secretary, who's going to take part in the panel session, and then a few closing remarks. Also, thanks to Andy Kerr and the uh, Edinburgh Centre for Climate Change. Andy will be attempting to moderate the five of us. And yeah, moderating me is a big enough challenge, to let alone the five of us. So thank you, Andy. Thank you to our hosts here, uh, Ruth and her team. And, and also thank you to the, the 2020 group team of Martin, Jenny and Fraser who've put things together. And so to introduce our speaker, um, Professor Joe Lassiter. Now, he, it's all right to call him Joe, I checked. Um, Joe was brought up as a Presbyterian, and I pointed out that this was actually an Episcopal church, but he is still comfortable to speak here. Um, so Joe is, um, specializes in entrepreneurial finance and innovation. Um, track record in helping new ventures, both startups and new ventures within existing established organizations. He's, he's a key lecturer and professor in the 
flagship Harvard Executive Program, which many, which attracts people from all over the world, both the MBA program and the Executive um, Education Program. So I, I know that Joe will be a tremendously challenging speaker, and I believe firmly that the challenges of 2020 require new policies on the part of government. They require new behaviours on the part of society. They require new technologies to be um, deployed at scales we haven't seen before. And they require new business models and new cooperations. So I'm delighted that the first of these lectures is focusing on what new and what innovation needs to happen as we respond to the future. So thank you all for coming and I will now hand over to Joe.